Hi, I'm Eric Schmidt with WM Nobing Company. Today we're going to cover setup of an S-Series Combine by using the GS3 Command Center display. The first thing that we're going to show you today is setting up the header and header stop heights for the machine. To do this we're going to go to the eye icon, it's the header. We're going to put in the width, that's going to be what we're going to be mapping on, and our recording stop height. The record stop height, what, are, what we recommend here is set your one position which is your headland mode lower the head a little bit manually about an inch or two and then hit your record stop height that way when you're bouncing around on your headlands it doesn't intermittently map the next thing to set up is to go back to our combine main which is F and we're going to go to calibrations B is to do our necessary steps for yield and moisture the first thing out of those is our temperature sensor for the moisture sensor Without this temperature sensor reading being correct, we cannot adequately get a moisture reading. To do this, we'll hit our accept button. The outdoor temperature says it's 83 degrees. It's actually 85, so we're going to bump this up 2 degrees until the sensor temperature reads correctly. When we're done, we'll hit the accept button. The next calibration to do is mass flow vibration. This is something that needs to be done once per year and at least before you go into the field on your very first crop. It's calibrating with zero crop in the clean grain elevator what the vibrations of the machine feel like to the mass flow sensor. With the machine running and at high idle, engage your separator and the calibration will take 60 seconds to begin. To run through the process, you'll hit your next and the calibrate button. We're going to hit the cancel to get back out of here for now. In order to do a moisture calibration, which is our next step, we're going to come back to our combine main, which is F. And we're going to go to our setup, which is H. Next, we're going to go to our moisture readings setup page, which is I. And we're going to set our moisture correction. If the combine is reading 15% moisture, and your ticket from the elevator or your moisture reading on your handheld device, reads 13, you would put in a negative 2. Once you've done getting your, your moisture completely set, we're going to go back and do our yield calibration. To do that, we're going to come back to our combine main, which is F. And then we're going to go back to calibrations, which is B. We're going to come up to calibrations drop-down box, and we're going to select yield. You want to start with an empty grain tank and an empty elevator. Ideally, you would have nice straight runs where you can get at least 3,000 pounds of crop within one pass, making consistent passes per calibration load. Deer recommends doing at least four to eight calibration loads before you hit calibrate. To do this, you're supposed to be doing one at low flow, one at medium flow, and one at high flow. You can achieve this by running different speeds if you have adequate crop that's running some of the same consistency through the machine. I would do the remainder of the calibration runs all at the, the same flow rate that your crop is going to be going through the field. So if you're used to running 5 mile an hour and it's going to run in the high flow range, do the rest of your calibration loads during that. To do one calibration, you would go into next and you would start collecting your calibration load as you're running through the field. When you get enough crop, you would hit next again, and it would bring you back to your page. We're just going to back out of here to get to the page here in the middle, which is where we'll enter in all of our calibration loads and their values. So here we have the estimated pounds. This is the load ID. The estimated pounds that the moisture sensor and the yield sensor came up with. This is be your actual scale ticket. If you enter in the numbers that you get on your, your scale ticket or what you're getting off of your scale on your, your grain cart, then you can hit calibrate and it will set the number accordingly for that. That concludes setup of the S-Series Combine using the GS3 Command Center. Thank you.